I've had a number of people ask me about how I laminate file folders in a personal laminator. So I wanted to just do a quick tutorial on how I do that. And essentially you need menu size laminate pouches. Uh, you can get them at Amazon. There's a link in the blog post and you need to trim them off a little bit on the side. So you want to make sure that you're trimming them, not where the tab is, but on the opposite side. Um, and that allows you to have enough room around the laminate to be able to fit it in the pouch and still have the tab. So I just take those extra edges off. So then you just have to put it into the menu size pouch. And you just want to make sure that you do that a bit carefully as it is a very close fit and you want to make sure that you get a seal all the way around it. Uh, so it does take just a little bit of care to make sure that you don't get it wrinkled and and things like that to kind of hold it together because the menu size pouches are two eight and a half by 11s essentially put together. Uh, so they're pretty big and can be a little unwieldy to deal with sometimes. And after you put it into the envelope, you are then ready to put it into the laminator. So smooth out all the wrinkles and then you're ready to feed it in. Now for a laminator, you want to make sure that your laminator will take the menu size uh, pouch. So you want to make sure that it's wide enough. This one has some extra space. Mine at home actually has uh, is just wide enough so I have to be very careful that it doesn't go in crooked or it will mess it all up. So just when you buy a personal laminator keep that in mind uh, and you will be able to then put it through and when it comes out it'll have a little extra on the end you can trim out and it'll be a laminated file folder fold it over and it's a little tougher because this one is a three mil uh, size so it's a little heavier than the school laminators so sometimes I have to flatten them a little bit but then you have a laminated file folder ready to go thanks this is Chris Reeve with Autism Classroom Resources